What's going on YouTube? I can give another video and today we're going to play, finish playing uh, episode 4 of Far Cry 6. So please like, comment, and subscribe. If you're new, give a watch time hours in. All that good stuff. Uh, yeah, we're playing Far Cry 6. Let me know if you want. You guys want to see uh, Fortnite. I mean, I know y'all guys have been, you know... Ever since I showed the trailer of it, I was hoping that you guys would want to see it. And uh, also, thank you for at least letting this be somewhat of a series. Not a lot of you are subscribing to it or commenting on it, but thank you for getting us close to 60 subscribers. We're on 59. We're, one more subscriber will make 60. We're trying to get to at least 100 before before the end of, the, uh, end of 2022. So if you can help me with that, or if you can help me get to 100 subscribers before the, before the summer begins, I would surely appreciate it. I'm still going to college, uh, May 9th, so if we can try and reach 100 su subscribers before then, before that time, I'd greatly appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, these, uh, you know, comment down below. I love reading all your comments. Helps me, uh, see what I'm doing wrong or what I'm doing. And, uh, if we can get at least 10 likes, I will definitely double upload today. That means I'll probably upload Fortnite. Or I'll upload, uh, Persona 5 Strikers. So, yeah, 10 likes in an hour, and I will definitely... Up, double upload today. So without further ado, let's play Far Cry 6. Okay, we're not gonna really waste our time without any of this. Press we already know. Button to start. Thank you. 
So if you aren't keeping up with the story, last time we uh we did a lot of errands and stuff so we can finally get off the island. And now we're finally gonna go and see Clara, whatever her name was, so we can finally see what, you know, the final thing. Do the final mission and we can finally leave for Miami. Hold on, let me take care of this. Yeah, we're gonna uh, basically see what happens next. If this is the final mission, then we're gonna go to the like green story and stuff like that. Where's my horse going? There you are, boy. Let's go. Come on. Fast travel here. This is getting ridiculous. Okay, here we go. I swear, this game's gonna take some getting used to, but don't worry, I'll get it. Just gonna start like that. Okay. Revolution is not won by fearlessness. It is won by fear. By the fear. You want us to take down Anto's ships? We're goddamn fishermen. Then leave us to die again, compadre. What the fuck are you doing? Try it. It's fun. What's the plan, Hepa? For Anton to see us from the fucking capital? Yes. Well, it's working. You've got 20 minutes until Anton's forces come. So you better start running. Go! I said, run! Rules of the guerrilla, Juan Cortez. A revolution is not won by the fearless. It's won by the feared. What does Anton Castillo fear? Free elections, free expression, free outcasts. Ayara, free of Castillo's. But he will fear nothing. Unless you are willing to die for your freedom today. Not when we have more believers or more guns. Today. Because today I'm going to put a hole through Castillo's warships. I am not fearless. I am scared as hell. But I promise you one thing. I will be feared. Viva Libertad. Viva Libertad. Viva Libertad. Let's go home, Grias. 
Does she know what she's doing? Who cares, Danny? She knows what we need. See you from the sky, Guerrilla. Okay. Let's see what, you know. I still don't know how to get weapons in this game. I still want to try the incendiary rounds or the blast rounds. Come on, old boy, let's go. Vamos. Okay, so now we're gonna go to the anti aircraft guns and then we're gonna destroy them. I ain't using no cards because I'm tired of getting copyrighted, copyright claim and stuff. Yeah. Now I'm gonna use horses. We're going back to the old days. Danny, I wanted to tell you something. Hell of a speech you gave. Listen to me. Whatever happens now, I wanted to thank you for everything you've done for Libertad and for me. Thank me once we've blasted through Castillo's blockade. See you on the other side, Danny. Walk into aircraft cannons across the area to make the airspace safe to flight. Flying over restricted airspace will cause anti aircraft cannons to shoot you down. Locate the anti aircraft cannons around the area. Blow up the cannons with explosives to free the airspace of the area. Well, duh. Everyone knows that. Well, you stay here, boy. Got him.
Did you ride? Ignore that scratch. What's it mean? Thank you. So at least a good thing you put that in here. Ridiculous how I gotta spend money just to freaking refill my ammo. Mierda. Thank you. And thank you. Good thing you had this here. Hey, Juan. Anti-aircraft cannons out. The sky is yours. Now go get those ships. And Juan will be your avenging angel of death. Whatever. As long as you got my back. I'm only using this car just for this one time because it's gonna fit too long with the horse. I'm tired of getting caught red clean. Oh, watch out, horse. Okay, now we gotta go here. Oh, okay. Now we're gonna put on auto drive and we're gonna just sit back and relax. I miss about Far Cry 5 is that they let you at least see it. Did they do it in Far Cry 5? No, actually, no. You have to do it in first person. Never mind. I was about to say, Far Cry 5 lets you see it in third person, but never mind. I'm close to Castillo's ships. Muy bien, Danny. You'll be boarding those ships as our assault element. Julio, where are you? I'm in the lighthouse. Sitting pretty with an RPG in perfect line of sight to the ships. Want to hear your voice, Raisa? Top of the tower. Round in the chamber. Scope dialed in. One. Just use your stairs, you know. But then, ways of fun. Danny, you want to use your camera to check out the defenses on those ships. All right. Look before you leap. If Lito was with us now, she'd be smiling. And halfway to those ships. Cut over there. Or turn it. Another turn over there. An alarm. I her for keeping you a Electricity. Secret. Take care of yourself, Julio. And a lot. Speaker. Another speaker. I don't know what that is. Oh, an assaulter. There we go. Another assaulter over there. I was about to die. And now I gotta see him swim all the way over here. That's just great. Instead of parachuting and shooting in like Rambo, I, could, I, I, I gotta now swim with the goldfish.
<sighs> this is gonna take a while. Well, so much for doing it quietly. This is ridiculous. Alright, I'm gonna start using this. Let's go. Takes too long to freaking load, man.
see this? Watch this. Sorry, mate. Sunk their battleship. Not the game. It's over. Let's get the fuck out of here. We couldn't have done it without you, Danny. We're not done yet. I'm going to hang back, set charges, and make sure those ships are ruined to shit. Check in when you're done, Julio. Copy that. Danny, I'm on my way to pick you up. Where are you, Clara? You said she's coming, hey. We're doing donuts or we're leaving. Hell of a fireworks show. I have to give you credit, Clara. You fucking did it. We did it, Danny. That was the difference. What's your plan when you reach America? Me and my friend Alejo are going to work shit jobs until we could scrape up some money, open a body shop. If the Yankee blockade taught us anything, it's how to keep things running when you got nothing. That's the dream? Sure, Yankees might pay you to park their cars or pick their fruit, but you'll never be one of them. The American dream doesn't come in our color. Okay. If we're shitting on dreams, what are you going to do if you win, Presidente Garcia? The next president won't last six months before they are assassinated. Wait, what? It's the truth. Won't free election solve that? What happened to your list? It's a vision, Danny. But I'm not as naive as you think. This revolution will free Yara, but won't fix it. When we take the capital, Yara will be burning. It will be civil war, factions, warlords, foreign-backed coups. Take your pick. Yarans will be killing Yarans for a generation. Uh-huh. This fight will take the rest of my life. Yara is stuck in a cycle of tyranny and revolution. My job is to show us how to break it. This isn't a dream, is it? 
You have to do this. What makes you say that? No one would choose this. No, Danny. Everyone who follows me, who joins Libertad, chooses this. But you know, I can really see you stocking shelves in one of those giant Yankee supermarkets. <laughs> Fuck you. No, no, no. I just think you'd look good in a little uniform, name tag, maybe a fancy apron. <sighs> Leave me out of your fantasies, Clara. I mean, she has a point, you know. Like everybody in this, in this, in all, in all reality, is hating on other people because of their, because of their race and and, and, and stereotyping people. Bienvenidos a mi casa. My favorite guerrillas. I missed my island. Tonight we celebrate. I'm sorry, Hefa. What's wrong? Julio never checked in. Yeah, like I said, uh, everybody, everybody's been stereotyping uh, people. Neither that will kill you fucking two yards. Say this! Criminalist! Puta. Mio, the difference between a true yard and a fake yard it can be hard to see, but it's there. A true yard understands that loyalty to country is key to his survival. Not justice, not love. Not even family. Loyalty to a vision that looks beyond themselves. Come on, mierda. Fake yards love to be the outcasts. They are addicted to their selfish perversions. Chaos. Lies. Like wild dogs. But dogs can be broken. They can serve paradise. And if a dog refuses to break like Julio here, like Clara Garcia, like Libertad, then we must put them down. Papa, you've proved your point. Put Julio down. This is a difficult step to paradise, Mio. I understand. But when you achieve our vision, I promise you, there will be no more steps. I'm coming, Rita. Then, enjoy the show. <laughs> Okay, as I was trying to say, uh, yeah, people have been getting stereotyped for, for years now. Just think about it. African Americans get stereotyped thinking that they, they, they robbing people and, you know, not working their way up in life. You know, Mexicans like this. Julio checked in. Proof of death. Join your friend Lita in a suite hereafter. I keep my promises, Danny. You wanted a boat, you got a boat. It's a beautiful piece of shit. It'll get you to a Yankee beach. One with the naked fatties. You two are just gonna let me leave? Bullshit. You could have sold us out a long time ago. You're my best kid yet. I can't promise you victory, I can't even promise you survival. What I can promise you is this. You are the lucky one. That usually work? 50-50. Pinga. I bet this fucking boat will sink halfway to Miami. So you right, right before I continue, I just want to say, yeah, like, you know, African Americans get stereotyped. Mexicans like this get stereotyped and stuff like that. Like, they actually have a point. You're better off here than over than over there. Because in Miami, they ain't gonna, they ain't gonna treat you they, they, anywhere in America. They're not gonna really treat you with, you know, respect and shit. <laughs> Ooh. 
Like they like you know they'll they'll, they'll, they'll sit here you, you'll get a crappy job and they'll they'll, they'll you know they'll, you know they'll, you'll be you know you'll be dealing with rich people that they'll see and say hey it's your job to do this we're rich and, we, and, and we're above you and all that stuff like that because we have money here. You try to get an apartment or anything else like that, freaking landlords will be will, will, will be you know don't want to, you know excuse me for my language when I'm about to say this but assholes. They'll say you say I don't know how it is in Mexico or Colombia, but you know. Meanwhile, you're you're born from here. Yeah, or, 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 or that's what it's called. You know, it's called that. And you know, they'll stay, they'll stereotype you thinking that you're just you're just making up excuses. Meanwhile, it's not your fault that you know things are different. From, you know, you're trying to adjust to custom life in in America. All I'm saying is life lesson for today. You know, don't stereotype people because you know it's not it's not worth it. Between people like trash that and stereotyping, stereotyping people that you see that, that look Mexican, French, or who are foreign and stuff like that, because you have a higher position, a title in life than them is wrong. You know, you should quit while you're ahead, because you never know when the tables may turn. One day you can, just like in the Darkman videos, Vid Chronicles, people that you make fun of and, and talk down to might one day be the next CEO or the president of the United States or something like that, and and you'll be, be and you'll be the one begging for them for money and food and stuff like that. And they'll be looking at you saying, say, why would I help you? You didn't help me when I, when I was down on my feet. So pretty much do like that. Because I know I wouldn't want to, you know, burn a bridge that, that, that I, may, I may one day need. So yeah, that's my that, that's just my story right, right there. I didn't, you know, I didn't want to, you know, I didn't want to bore you guys. I just wanted to, you know, let you guys know something because, you know, what they were saying, saying in the, uh, the cutscene. Level three. New weapons and gear available at one's arm dealers. Where is that? I'm trying to find that. Right there. There it is. Military brands has increased. Find, find stronger find the units have been deployed. Okay. Hell of an office one. Ah, my favorite guerrilla. Turn that off, please. Me. Want me to make you the best supremos and resolver weapons? You need depleted uranium. Lucky for you, Castillo has stashed his supply with the biggest guns on the island. His anti-aircraft cannon. You'll be back. They always come back. What are these? Also, bring that roast your enemies, creates a chaos by launching poisonous gas, someone to the battlefield that can turn enemies against one another, disable security systems, and enable vehicle hacking. Uh, do I want to burn them? Do I want to gas them? Do I want to poison them? Or do I want to. Or do I want to. Uh, uh, hack their communications and stuff. And in this, this is a nail gun. This is a. I don't know what this is. This uh, standard reload. I don't know what this is. So what? Shield takes standard amount of damage. This one does the most damage. So I'll try this. And I'll go with the uh, fire. Okay. Okay, but now how do I now how do I you know get normal weapons? Uranium. Juan, I swear you almost look happy. I have my workshop and a revolution to win. What more could a guerrilla ask for? Okay, but where's this? If the sword's right here, then where, where do I go to get more, like, new weapons and stuff? <clears throat> Alright, you guys, we're probably gonna end that here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Please share, like, comment, and subscribe. Please try not to dismiss what I said about stereotyping. What is that? Stereotyping, it's, it's not... It's not worth it. I mean, trust me, I've learned from experience myself. 
or I haven't done it. I haven't done it myself, but I've seen it around before. People got stare. People got stereotyped just because of their race and where they came from and stuff like that, and it was not it was not worth it at all. And then you know, and then later on, like two years, like several months, maybe a year or two, I've seen people who became very successful that they, you know, that they crapped on. Like I've seen, I see, I, I see one of my, my childhood friends, you know, who got stereotyped. Everybody said that he'd never, you know, become amount, he never amount, he'll never become a successful YouTuber. YouTuber, and then you know, basically, I was his only friend, and I said, don't give up and stuff. And basically, look where he is now. He's literally, he's literally in San Francisco right now. Uh, uh successfully, you know, no, you're not San Francisco. Uh. I think he's in North Car North or South Carolina, and now he has his own business and stuff. He's a he's a successful entrepreneur, and everyone said, and he has a successful YouTube channel. So basically, you know, and now everybody that made fun of him, even the girls that made fun of him, and said that hey, we ain't never gonna date nobody like you. Now want to get a piece of him, and now I told him, no, dismiss them, because they treated you like crap before because you didn't have nothing. Now you have everything or most of everything, and now you don't have anything. And now they and now they want all that. They only want to come around when it's time to take. They don't want to. They, they weren't there during their during your struggle. Now they want to be there during your success. Don't. That's all I'm saying. Once you're back at Santuario, shake the trees for guns, ammo, new believers. Cause you're surprised. Let's keep it that way. Welcome to Libertad, Danny. I can leave any time. What's the rush? Inspiring. Let's free Yara, shall we? Castillo controls all of Yara with soldados, slaves, and blood. The capital is a stronghold. We take Esperanza, we free Yara. Best chance we got to weaken Castillo is to hit military targets like FND bases and checkpoints. But most important, we have to surround Esperanza and trap Castillo in his cage. That means targeted operations that will unite the revolution and make Libertad stronger. To do that, I need you to recruit three groups in Yara to fight with Libertad. Each is waging war across Yara with a different piece of Castillo's empire, all controlled by his inner circle. In El Este, foreign invaders like Mickey Industries suck our resources dry, and Admiral Benitez defends Castillo's poison lifeline. But the old legends of 67 can help us turn the tide. They're hiding in the jungles of the highest mountains of Yara. Their greatest guerrilla, El Tigre, is waiting with open arms to help you bring them on our side. Then we have Valle de Oro. Not just the engine of Castillo's Vivero operation, but also his propaganda machine, run by his Minister of Culture, Maria Marquesa. But I have some old friends who can run our counter-propaganda campaign, Maximas Matanzas. They were the voice of the protests and can mobilize Yara's dissidents to fight for Libertad. They've gone dark. Last seen at a fort in Balaceras. We need to find them before Castillo's forces do. In Madrugada, we have Castillo's nephew, Jose, a slave driver who forces outcasts to grow that poison Viviro tobacco. But the Montero family is waging war against Jose. They hate visitors, but I have intel on a mechanic who has a workshop in Costa del Mar. His name is Philip Barsaga, and he's their gatekeeper. If I were you, Danny, I'd start in Madrugada. We take back that tobacco with the Montero's help, and we got Castillo's Viviro at the source. You just need to find this mechanic, Philly. I'll be here actioning targeted Libertad strikes against Castillo throughout Yara. Hang on. I'm gonna get all these groups to sign up for Libertad by myself? How? Simple. You help. Any way you can. I send a squad to these groups, I'm an invader. I send a scout, then I'm not serious. With you, they get my best career without politics and bullshit. Just help. Libertad takes the capital, we slit Anton's throat, maybe drink his blood, etc., etc. Then he needs a walk. Viva Libertad, Jefa. Yeah, yeah. I'm not Clara's best guerrilla, you are. You're not listening. Translate, Juan. The accent. Clara hides it best she can, but she was born rich from a family of true Yaran she left behind. 
She can shoot, bleed, drink with us all she wants. But she can't hide the stink of the upper class. What's that have to do with me? You are an orphan, Danny. Poor, from the dirt. When they see you, they don't see politics. They see they have no excuse. She's using me. See? And you're using her right back. Do you want to kill Anton? See? You want to free Yara? Sure you do. But here's what Clara can't say, but you and I both know. You want this. You're a guerrilla. And for a guerrilla, the shit my pants rush of an ambush, the smell of sulfur burning your nostrils, it's... It's... It's fun. Don't worry. Your secret is safe with me. Yeah. Yeah, so like I said, please don't, don't, you know, let's take my, you know, let, please take my lesson in consideration because, you know, one day it might come back to bite you in the, in, in the, in, in the, uh, in the behind, in the butt. So, like, you know, so please, just like, just like my mission, what you're subscribing to, I'm trying to end homelessness, poverty, and, ev and everything else like that. And everything else like that. So, let's band together and, and end it. So yeah, please uh, please help me with it, with this uh. So please let's keep this in consideration and uh, hope you got all your extra and, and purchase content is now yours. Visit the Arsenal Amigos rides and vehicle pickup menus to access your new content. Badge of Honor. Oh, okay. Yeah, so please like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe if, uh, you know, we're trying to get to, we're trying to get to 100 before I leave. We're trying to, uh... We're trying to, uh, get to a uh, hundred... We're trying to get to a hundred... We're trying to get 100 subscribers before I go to college, which is May 9th. So please remember that, May 9th. Yeah, so if you, uh... So yeah, so please like, comment, and subscribe, you know. Comment down below, I love leaving all your comments. Yeah, I love reading all your comments. Uh, I love reading all your comments. It helps the YouTube algorithm out. Yeah, I love reading all your comments. I really hope that you can... Uh, let's get to 100 subscribers. Please take what I said in consideration. Please don't treat others... Treat others the way you want to be treated, all that stuff like that. Where here at Nick and K's Empire, you're not discriminated based on where you come from. So if you don't belong anywhere else, menu narration is enabled. So if, you so if you if you don't belong anywhere else, you belong here. Uh, accessibility vision. Really... Okay, yep, I'm gonna end that here. Okay, please like, comment, and subscribe. I love reading all your comments. Please take what I said in consideration, my message I took in consideration. Check out the episode four. Uh, no, not four. Check out episode three. 
Hit that episode two and hit one and check out my gaming channel. Subscribe my, to my channel. Consider subscribing. Let's get to 100 subscribers before I leave for college May 9th. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Adios, my amigos.